It's not enough to be pretty or handsome. You have to be flawless in the cruel sea drama world. Or else you will be hailed as an ugly duckling. Tell us if the following victims deserve to be called ugly or are they just plain unlucky? Let's start with the recent buzz around Mao Xiaohui, the second female lead in Sword and Fairy 4. It seems like she has become the center of attention among viewers. All because of a mismatch between her character as supposedly the most beautiful goddess and her makeup. The internet went wild with people bluntly calling her ugly for the role. One netizen even commented on her Weibo post, saying, Good job in a drama, but don't ever play this role again. The impact was significant, leading Mao to take to Weibo and publish 11 posts to apologize for not meeting the audience's expectations in terms of her appearance. To be fair, she's definitely not ugly. Unfortunately, the hair, dressing, and makeup failed to hide her minor imperfections revealing a sharp face, a top, a slightly stronger neck. This took away some of that lively charm she usually exudes. Just take a look at how she appeared in the Twin Flower Legend, and you'll get a better idea of what I mean. To Liao Yuning, in the adventure drama, Ultimate Note, he played a character with a shrewd and yippie vibe. Interestingly enough, he kind of emanated that vibe naturally with his messy long hair, leather coat, and even a pair of sunglasses. Not many people commented on his looks because the character was cut out for him. But the twist comes when his latest drama, A Journey to Love, his yippie charm seemed to lose its power to portray a sophisticated leader with a composed personality and worldly wisdom. Following the premiere, Liel found himself bombarded with criticism regarding his appearance. Some viewers went as far as to express their disappointment. One stated, I initially watched the drama because of him, but his presence became the reason I had to skip his scenes to finish a show. I'm no longer interested in being his fan. It's not a big issue that sometimes, when your natural looks fall short, you rely on makeup to save the day. Unfortunately, the stylists miss the information too. Let's take a particularly controversial scene as an example. After a tough battle, there was no blood, no dirt on his face, not even a single escaped strand of hair. Nothing to indicate that this man had just survived a fierce fight. Naturally, the audience has had nothing but his ugliness as the only thing left to focus on. Dylan Wang's performance in Miss the Dragon created quite a stir on social media when it first aired. However, a year later in love between fairy and devil, the bone-picking noise seemed to fade away. Thanks to his both improved acting skills and the stunning transformation of his character, Dong Feng Qin Kang. With a dark hair color, cherry red lips, different wig, and thin lines that reshaped and elongated his eyes, along with a dark colored dress, everything accentuated his angular facial features, creating a spirited image with a touch of distortion. A remarkable transformation. But then came Only for Love, a modern romance where unfortunately a different same mistake was made. Right from the beginning of the show, when there was a close up of his uneven eyes and slightly protruding lips, he instantly became a laughing stuck. It's like the cameraman were also part of the team making this situation worse. And the viewers are even ruthless. You all really think he is handsome? His look is just passable and more suited for variety shows. I always thought he looked like a mantis. But the styling of Dong Fang Qin Kang is so amazing. It enhances his appearance a lot, making him look like a mantis duty. Speaking of cameraman, let's talk about Run Min and her role as the female lead in The Longest Promise. Her pairing with the beloved Xiao Zhen sparked a wave of anger across the internet, with many accusing a disconnect between her appearance and high expectations. Now, don't get it wrong, she displayed a good amount of grace throughout the show, and she was truly applauded over her overall performance in other dramas such as Serenade of Peaceful Joy. But everyone has their flaws in one way or another. Unfortunately for Run Min, her flaw just happened to be magnified as she got too close to the camera. One of the most discussed scenes was when she looked directly into the camera, which made her nose appear bigger and the distance between her eyes wider. Then there comes a brutal comment. Wow, I thought she is Wong Cholam. Even Wong looks more delicate than her. Can't believe she lost to Wong. Ouch. When it comes to actors, appearance does play a significant role, but sometimes it's what comes from within that can damage the impression they leave on others. Take Yu Xu Xin, for example. 
Many people found her voice to be turned off since her portrayal in Love Between Fairy and Devil. Given that her character was supposed to be immature and annoying, the baby cutesy voice made sense in the context. However, the use of this bubbly talking style seemed to extend to almost every situation she was a part of, whether on screen or off. So there is no surprise to see netizens say, so fake. A glimpse at her makes me nauseated. Forget about liking her. Combined with what some consider cringy acting, even with her above-average looks, she was regarded as ugly in historical dramas. From the very beginning, Young Zi has led to deal with a lingering comment that she's not pretty enough to be an actor. But she has proven those naysayers wrong with her solid performances in recent dramas. However, in her most recent modern romance, Love Endures, debates have strung up about her compatibility with the role of an 18-year-old character. The discussion even ventured into the old rumor, with some stating, while she may not fit the conventional definition of super beauty, she used to exude liveliness and cuteness. However, since undergoing plastic surgery, none of her dramas have managed to capture my interest. Let's face it, it's quite a challenge for a 30-year-old to convincingly portray a high school girl. Age leaves its mark, and that can't be easily or completely hidden with just makeup. Moreover, the noticeable age gap between the two leads may unintentionally take the viewers out of the story. But despite all that, Young Zi's concrete acting and precious display of emotions at different stages of a young woman's life overshadowed any concerns about age or appearance. In the realm of Shansha dramas, where a utopian world is portrayed with flawlessly beautiful men and women, the standard for selecting actors is undeniably set quite high. So to Zhao Dongyu, an exceptional actress, her appearance in the period drama, ancient love poetry spark a deafening argument among viewers. Some said Zhang Dani is not the only one that outshone her, and any random person would be better than her. Others raised concerns about Zhao's distorted facial expressions during crying and emotional scenes. Yes, in a Shanshu drama, it is expected for characters to maintain perfect beauty even while shedding tears. However, there are also objective voices. Zhao Dingyu can't be considered conventionally attractive, but she possesses a certain charm. I feel that she is better suited for film roles rather than long-running television dramas. So the question arises, is it a matter of appearance or misjudgment in casting decisions? If you've ever taken notice of Chen Yi's early work, you would be truly amazed by his remarkable transformation. Just take a look at his portrayal in Love and Redemption. He seemed like an entirely different person. Fairer skin, smartly designed bangs that accentuated his sharper chin and a more defined nose, he instantly went from being an average-looking and somewhat tacky actor to a handsome and effeminate man. Like the netizen said, speaking of the importance of hairstyling, in the past, Shang Yu looked so much like the goofy son of a rich countryman. There's no denying that Chang Yi has always been a talented actor. But it's clear that inappropriate hair or makeup choices hindered his potential to a significant extent. Fortunately, Chen Yi himself has recognized this issue and insisted on using his stylist for his upcoming drama. While this decision may be controversial, he is correct about one thing. Outer beauty can be the key to unlocking one's inner charm. When Wu Lei made his appearance in Love Like the Galaxy, it didn't take long for controversy to erupt. His remarkably slender figure with a sunken mid-face and prominent bones that are visible from the front created a strong visual impact. Compared to his well-built, tough guy image in the long ballad, it seemed like he had lost significant weight. Inevitably, the changes were spotted by fashion-sensitive viewers, leading to comments such as, Being so slim does him no favors. When compared to the other attractive characters in the drama, none of his facial features appear appealing. Now, it's widely understood that being thin can often make someone look better on camera. However, in Wu Lei's case, people felt that this might not have worked out as well. The bony structure of his face made his already thin upper lip almost disappear, throwing off the balance of his entire face. It's a classic case of too much of a good thing. Unlike some unlucky individuals who have worked with non-professional stylists, 
Deng Wei has almost always managed to pull off different gorgeous looks. Despite rumors about his plastic surgeries, he has consistently impressed fans with his on-screen charms. Yet, he also became a target for nitpicking merely for his weak spot found off-screen. Check this. The broad smile that typically enhances the beauty of others seems to have the opposite effect on him, in a rather destructive way. Just as some pointed out, any display of emotional facial expression seems to shatter his image, so he might as well just be a beautiful vase. Oops. And this wraps up today's video. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below and remember to like, share, and subscribe as more exciting videos come your way.